Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make a chalkboard card. Now I hadn't really heard of this style. I didn't know it was called a chalkboard card. Basically mum made me this card early last year and I've had it displayed in my craft room for a long time. Always thinking to myself I should do that as a tutorial because I think it's wonderful. You've got space on the back to write your message but mum's actually put a little bit of velcro there. You can see how it all holds together and she's wrote her message to me inside. She got inspiration from Pinterest and then when I had a look I saw a really pretty one by Inking Idaho. I just loved that image so I've just gone from there and then I've made this one myself. So this is a six by six which is similar to mum's size but I've dropped this piece down and then you can see on the back you've got all that space to write your message but I've come, I've made this piece so it's all attached so I'm going to show you how to do that. Now if you want to make the six by six size check out my blog and the links the measurements for that size will be there in the tutorial today I'm going to show you how to make the five by seven size so this tutorial you're going to have the two so I just thought it was nice then that you've got the option I'll just bring it up so you can see it a bit closer it's really lovely I think it's such a pretty style and it just stands up really well so let me show you how to make it so first of all you want a piece of five by seven and I've got this nice pinky color and then you want a piece of five by seven and a half and it's along the seven and a half side you just want to score at seven so you've got your little half inch tab here just fold and burnish that and that's how we're going to attach the pieces together to make a top fold card you also want this piece which is for the little window planter box this is optional you might want to keep it flat you might want to do a completely different theme it doesn't have to be you know this floral chalkboard and when we were talking during the facebook live where i made that one lots of people were saying obviously for teachers cards which is i think where it's kind of probably started so this here is a piece of two by six and you want to score at one at half an inch and one inch on three sides only so half and one and then rotate half and one then rotate again and half and one so when i say three sides it's the two shortest and one of the long sides so you'll have something that looks like that then whilst we've got the scoreboard out i'm going to score this piece here and you want to score at one down to two inches now you don't have to score this you might just want to cut straight away or just draw this all with a pencil but i've just found it easier to score it so at one inch down to two in fact i'm going to go down to two and a half just because this is slightly taller so i'm going to score at one down to two and a half and then at four down to two and a half if you haven't got markers on the side here just run a ruler down here or along where you want to come down like so and then i'm going to pop it this way and just see the two and a half there and just hover my stylus until it meets there and just join that up we're now going to cut that piece out if you want to come up higher then you can but i think that's a nice amount of space there to be able to decorate you'll see the template i used in the facebook live for the six by six version so you can see we're just going to cut this piece out but we came in at one and then came in at one inch on each side as we have here but then i came down two inches and then just joined that up but i'll take a picture of that and i'll pop it on my blog but like i said everything i do in this it will be the same for the six by six what i'm then going to do is once when we cut this i'm just going to cut it out and use that as a template over the top if you would rather do the same on this one like i've just done there then you can do Okay, so now I'm going to cut this piece out. And I'm just removing that piece completely. Like so, and then I'm just gonna lay it over this one here, up to the score line. If you wanna mark with a pencil, you can. Now, rather than cut all this out completely, you just wanna cut up, because we're gonna save this piece and use it to attach the inside. So I'm just cutting out both of them again. If you would rather mark this all with pencil, use your trimmers, cutting knife, you know, there's lots of ways to do this. Okay, like so. And I'm just gonna grab my scoreboard. And again, I'm gonna find the two and a half marker. I'm just gonna score between those two cut lines, but keep this piece in. And you're going to fold it in and actually i just remembered i want to keep the scoreboard so pop it in like i have here and you're now just going to score within this piece this this flap you don't want to score on these pieces here obviously got a sticky mark there or something but that's all going to get covered so you want to score at one and a half just in the middle there that middle piece and then at half an inch
Okay, so we've got something like that. Fold that in, fold that one back so it's a mountain and then fold that one so it's a valley. We're going to add glue to that in a minute and stick that onto here and it will give us that piece. And it's just, it just, I don't know, it was just something that came to me when I was doing the live rather than cut it out and add a separate piece. It just seemed to work really well keeping that there. So now I'm going to grab my glue and I'm going to use the cloud. First of all, I'm going to stick the top piece down. So I'm just going to burnish that like so. I'm just going to run my glue along that. Just give that a minute to dry. And then just lift it up and pop some glue on that tab. And then just sit it behind there and fold the card flat. And that way you know it's it's going to fold flat to fit in your envelope. I pop it in one of my box envelopes. I'll link that up here. If you don't have the dimension on it, then you can just pop it in a standard 5 by 7 envelope. So whilst that's drying, I've got these strips here. And I'm using my wood grain stencil. And you'll see here on the yellow, you can see it's got that wood grain effect. That's using this here. So this is completely optional. You can just emboss this if you want to. But I'm going to just lay this down, different parts, and just get these inked up. Okay, so I'm happy with those. Next, I've got this piece of black card. And this is a piece of four by three and three quarters. Yeah. Now, before I stick this down, I want to lay these pieces down and then place my sentiments so I can get that heat embossed so I can roughly get an idea you know, of where I'm going to need that sentiment to go. So just lay down everything like so. And then I'm using the flowers and everything when I decorate it. It's all from the Papercraft Society box 20. And I'm going to pull out, I think I might do the, the other sentiment, which I was going to do on the live, which is enjoy the beautiful moments. So I'm going to take that one. And I think this time I'm going to pop it right in the middle. So now I can take all that away and now I can see where that needs to go. Pop it down in here. Just check that's all straight like so. Pick that up. And I'm going to use white embossing powder on this so it looks like chalk. So I'm just going to rub this with my anti-static buddy. This will just ensure there's no sticky marks or any static. I always give it a really good rub and make sure you rub all your fingers as well in case you've got hand cream and just your natural oils. You'll be surprised what it can attract. And then I'm just using the Versamark here, which is your watermark stamp. Ink that up. And you'll see this really well on the black, so which is good when you're doing a tutorial. Like so. Dump my white embossing powder over the top. And you'll see that's taken really well. Just pop another layer on for good measure. And if you do have any, especially with the white, you can see it on the, the black card. If you've got a cardstock that's maybe a little bit fluffy, the fibres... It could be a soft cardstock, so it might be quite fluffy. You'll find it will attach to that. But I'm pleased with that, so I'm going to get that heat set. Okay, so that's all set and ready to stick down. Don't worry if it's all warped because you're going to attach it now with your glue. So I'm just going to use the Kalau. This is the clear all-purpose construction glue. And I'm just going to flip that over 
You can see already just with that, without these pieces, it starts to really look like a chalkboard. And then you just wanna lay your strips down. So make sure they run through the middle of the leg. Fat, I think I'm gonna do it that way because I might put the butterfly over that join there. I didn't line it up as well as I wanted. So just lay that down like so. And then again with this one. And then with the top one, because it's going to overlap these two ends, just pop a little bit of glue there and then foam in the middle part. And then you can just line those up like so, and then just stick the foam down in the middle. Whilst that's all still drying, we're going to go on to this piece here. So you just want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. And then I'm just going to ink this one up just to distress the corners. So if you just fold it over, you get a really nice effect. See that colour change there? So just work your way around. Okay, next you should have four squares in each of the corners. You want to cut up past the first score line to the second, like so. Then you want to remove the outer two and then just remove the bottom ones. You've just got one left. It's just the same as if you were constructing a reinforced box. And then again, just remove the outer two and then that bottom one. So you're just left with that one there. And then if you just take a little wedge off of the side, and off the sides there as well. Okay, next grab some glue and pop it on the little square piece. Bring that under and you wanna bring this over. So this is now the bottom of that little planter. Just hold that there for a second. And then again, some more glue there. Bring that under and around like so, and then you just pop a little bit of glue down in the corners there and then just bring up that bottom piece and what we do is we add glue to all of this and attach it but before we do that I want to add a little strip inside here so if I bring this one in there is actually another strip with this long decorative piece on I just thought it helped fill that up but if you're going to use flowers like my mum's done then you won't need to do that because you can see they just all fill the space nicely so this piece here is four and a half by half an inch and along the four and a half side you just want to score at a quarter at each end so a quarter and then four and a quarter now I might end up trimming this again but just fold over those edges and this is going to sit in here no, that's perfect and you want the edges here the ends to sit with the back of this piece so it creates that little ledge you want to bring it right up to the top do one end at a time so pop your glue just on that tab and then use my tweezers pop it in and then just bring that up to the top there so you can see it's flush with the top and it's hitting the back. So it means it's equally spaced inside there. And then with this end, if you just pop some glue actually onto the side of the, the box, and then you can just bring that piece up. If you've got tweezers, it's much easier. And just squeeze it into place. But now you'll see you've got that piece there. And before I stick it down, I'm going to add this piece because I think it's just going to be easier. So I want that kind of in the middle there. And I'm just going to trim this piece, which so is just under four, just so it fits in there. It's a shame to lose all that red, actually. I'd like to keep more of that red flower in. So I'm going to go from this end. Yeah, that seems a bit better. So let's do there. So now that is going to attach itself just to the top 
yeah that's good so I'm going to run my glue just a thin amount just along the bottom there and then I'm just going to lay that in making sure it's nice and straight because that way you can get your finger on the back quite easily because you've got all that opening like so and then I've got loads of flowers and I can just pop a flower at the end there in a minute when I come to decorate now I want to stick that onto here so I'm going to add some foam because this is lifted I'm going to add my foam pads along this piece because they're going to sit in this section here yeah that's perfect and then I'm just going to put liquid glue on the end sections there so just take the backing off add my glue and then I'm just lining up the bottom of the planter with this section here and just make sure you've got an equal amount over each side and then just take your bone folder or something to just run over the pads and also the glue there okay so you should be able to open up your card and already you can see you've got that really wonderful design i absolutely love this i think it's a a new favorite of mine so i've gone ahead and i have already stamped and cut and coloured all of these pieces. So I've got the butterfly, I've taken Colin the Caterpillar from my own collection, I've got some bunting there, and again, all of the stamps are from the stamp set that comes in the kit. So it's these ones here, here, the leaves, this floral one here, the butterfly, and then that's that kind of edge stamp, and then the sentiment there as well. So I'm gonna kind of follow this one here. I'm going to pop it on high speed and I'm going to get all of this stuck down. absolutely beautiful I think I might keep this one for myself so now I'm just gonna attach this piece here which is four and a quarter by four and three quarters and then depending on the weight of the cardstock you've used this is a 220 GSM you may want to just add a couple of extra pieces there so I'm gonna add some of the ink to them with that wood grain and I'm just gonna pop them on the bottom there and these ones are two and a quarter I believe yep two and a quarter by three quarters of an inch so I'm going to get all that stuck down so there's the finished cards I'll just show you the back there so that's all ready now to write your message and once that glue completely sets it will just really strengthen the back there you can see it stands up really nicely along with the six by six i think they just look so beautiful together i love the vibrant colors i'll just bring mums back in so you can see that style again so if you don't want to stamp and cut all the flowers you can see the one that mum's done there it looks really pretty she even got the little ladybird on there and the little bumblebee so that's my version of the chalkboard card. Thoroughly enjoyed making these ones and I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial today. Coming up now will be some other videos as well. If you click on the one here, then that will take you to something similar to what I've done today. And if you click on the playlist, you can binge watch some more of my videos if you'd like. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.